Hey everybody, welcome to Veritech. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about GitHub's Code Vault. All right, welcome back. So before we start this video, I wanna make sure that you like and subscribe. And if you have a Reddit account, please share this video on Reddit. Every time you share this video, it helps out the channel. Remember that this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. Every dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best deal is to get Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content for a monthly subscription. Details are all below, so please check them out. All right, so it was just announced that GitHub is now putting code in Svalbard, just like the Seed Vault. So if you don't already know, Svalbard is this island that's way up here and it's pretty cold out there. Really cold out there. And one of the things that cold does very well is preserve. And these scientists had this idea to preserve all of humanity's seeds of plants in this vault. It's this kind of doomsday vault and if something were to happen to these seeds we have a backup. Now these seeds are anything from trees to the plants that we eat to just simple flowers because the ecosystem is super important and it's good to have a backup. In fact, I think we should have two backups, one up north and one down south as well. So if you want to know more about this topic, you can watch this TED talk about the seed vault right here. So while preserving seeds is a really good idea, believe it or not, there's an abandoned coal mine just down the road from this seed vault. And what would be the best thing to put in this coal mine? So the people at GitHub thought that it would be good to put all the code that we've produced in this mine here. Again, it's the same concept. You wanna store all the things that we've created in a place that is relatively safe. Because Svalbard is so cold, it's a good place to store all this data. So how much of GitHub are we actually gonna store in this coal mine? Well, apparently it's gonna be every single repository. This is really important because if we were to lose all of GitHub's repository, I think progress in the coding world would slow down. There are so many coders that rely on GitHub code to get things done that if it weren't there, then it would be a real problem and progress would definitely slow. Another thing we should do is we should put Stack Overflow's content in the same place. So why is code so important to store? Well, imagine if we were in the Industrial Revolution and people had all of these inventions that were simply just lost. I think progress would have slowed. At that period of time, there were lots of inventions that made a lot of progress and humanity really did benefit. The same thing can be said about the code on GitHub. The code on GitHub is analogous to the machines that were produced in the Industrial Revolution. Losing all the code on GitHub would be analogous to losing all the designs in the Industrial Revolution. It would be completely disastrous for the exact same reason. You want to think of code as small machines that is incredibly malleable. Like the design in the Industrial Revolution, code has a very similar function. So saving this code is super important. In fact, we should save it into multiple locations, and that includes maybe the moon, Mars, or even other planets such as Mercury. The other thing that's really important about this is to have the documentation. So these GitHub repositories are great, and one of the things that you can do is if you have a GitHub repository yourself, is that you can add in some documentation, and this documentation would be really helpful in the event that we somehow lost the code on GitHub. The documentation will really help people get up to speed with what is really happening with your code. So in conclusion, I was very delighted to see that there is an initiative like the Seed Vault, but for code. I think it's really important to save your code, and if you want to save your code into hard copies, I highly recommend doing that as well. I have multiple hard drives at home, but even those hard drives can fail. So the lesson here is always back up your stuff. So that concludes this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe, and if you really like this video, please share it on Reddit and other locations. Remember that this channel doesn't do a Patreon, instead we sell our digital products down below. The more content that you buy, the better products we can produce. The best way to help out this channel is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Thanks for listening, I'll see you in another video.